Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at polynomials with unknown coefficients. Now, a polynomial with unknown coefficients uh, can be something like this, where it's ax squared plus bx plus c, where we don't know the coefficient of x squared, we don't know the coefficient of x, and we don't know the constant. Or maybe we might know one or the other, or, or a couple of them, but there's always going to be one that we don't know. We might also be given something like this, where we have the factors of a polynomial where we don't know what numbers are inside the brackets. Or indeed, we might not know the coefficient of the x in the factor. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at two questions that deal with this. The first question, x minus p and qx minus 4 are factors of 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. Find the value of p and the value of q for all x element of r. So basically we have to find out what the factors are. In the second question, if x squared minus ax plus b is a factor of x cubed plus cx plus d, prove a squared equals b minus c and 2a cubed equals d minus ac. So let's take a look at the first one first. Okay, so x minus p and qx minus 4 are factors of this. Well, if these are factors of this here, then they must multiply to give us that. So x minus p times qx minus 4 must be equal to 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. Now, I'll multiply out the brackets. x by qx is qx squared. x by minus 4 is minus 4x. Minus p by qx is minus pqx. Minus p by minus 4 is plus 4p. And that's equal to 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. Now, I'm just going to tidy up this side here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize out x to get it in the form of something x squared plus something times x plus a constant. So I'm going to factorize out x. That gives me qx squared plus... Now, factorize x out the front. I'll be left with minus 4 minus pq. And then plus 4p is my constant. That's equal to 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. Now, you'll notice here that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are not the same. We've multiplied these factors out and we've got this here. Now, because these are factors, I know that this is equal to this. Now, the thing is, when I have two quadratics equal to each other, I can let the x square parts equal to each other the x parts equal to each other, and the constants equal to each other. So it might be easier to see that if I write them one under another. So I have 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. Underneath that, I'm going to write qx squared plus minus 4 minus pq times x plus 4p. Now, the x squared parts are equal. So 3x squared is equal to qx squared. Therefore, 3 is equal to q. So we have q, q is 3. I can do the same for the x parts, but I've just noticed that the constants might be easier to deal with. 4p is equal to 20. Therefore, p is equal to 5. Now, the same must hold true for the x terms. So let's have a look at this now and see if it works. So minus 19x should be equal to minus 4 minus pq times x. Okay, I can divide both sides by x to get minus 19 equals minus 4 minus, now I'm going to sub in p and q. p is 5, q 
q is 3. Minus 19 equals minus 4 minus 5 times 3 is 15. Minus 19 is equal to minus 19. That's true. So I know that my values here for p and for q are correct. p is equal to 5, q is equal to 3. <clears throat> Okay, in the next question, if x squared minus ax plus b is a factor of x cubed plus cx plus d, prove that this is equal to this and this is equal to this. Now, if this is a factor of this, I know that it will divide into it evenly with no remainder. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide x squared minus ax plus b into this here, x cubed plus cx plus d. Now, I'm just going to rewrite it to make it a bit easier for myself as x cubed. Because there's no x squared term, I'm going to write plus 0x squared plus cx plus d. That's just going to make it a bit easier for me. x cubed plus 0x squared plus cx plus d. Okay, so we'll start our long division and we should get a remainder of 0. x squared into x cubed is x. x times x squared is x cubed. x times minus ax is minus ax squared. x times b is plus bx. Okay. Next step is to subtract, so I need to change the sign of everything here. x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 0x zero squared plus ax squared is ax squared. cx minus bx is cx minus bx. I'm going to factorize out x to be left with c minus b times x. And then I can bring down my d. Now, I'll, now we divide in again. So x squared into ax squared. That is a. a times x squared is ax squared. a times a minus ax is minus a squared x. And a times b is plus ab. Okay, so I'm going to subtract these now. And... And when I subtract them, I know that the answer that I get should be equal to zero. So ax squared minus ax squared, that is already equal to zero. Now, the other two parts is where people tend to have the trouble. What we do is we take them separately. So c minus b times x plus a squared x is equal to zero. c minus b times x plus a squared x is equal to 0. Also, d minus ab is equal to 0. Okay, let's work on this one first. And we're trying to get either of these. a squared is equal to b minus c, or a cubed is equal to d minus ac. I can divide both by x. I can divide across everything by x. That'll give me c minus b plus a squared equals 0. I want to isolate a squared, so I can do that easily by taking c and adding b. So a squared equals b minus c, which is the one that I wanted, part 1. Now for part 2, I need to use this here. d minus ab is equal to 0. I want a cubed equals d minus ac. So the thing that I notice here is in this, I have a cubed, d, a, and c. In this, I have d, a, and b. So I don't want this b. So what I can do is I can substitute, substitute in for b. Now, what I'll substitute in is from here. I can rearrange this to get b equals a squared 
plus C. I'm going to substitute that in there for B. So I get D minus A times A squared plus C is equal to zero. Let's multiply out the brackets. D minus A cubed minus A C is equal to zero. Now I can add A cubed to both sides. I get D minus A C is equal to A cubed, which is actually what I want just with the sides changed. So I can swap everything onto the other side. A cubed is equal to D minus A C which is what I was asked to prove at the start. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.